Hello everyone and welcome back to math modding. Um, this is my third mod I think and um, yeah it's becoming a trend. I just keep going further on what I showed the last episode. Uh, in the last episode we worked on or I showed you an NPC or my first um, attempts at an NPC and in this video we left our modding home and went to the information center. Now for the players or viewers that uh, have played this in early alphas, this wasn't an information center um, at in the early stages of the alpha. This was this was a police station, um, and in light of that, I went ahead and put in just a little mod. Now the nurse got changed to a police officer, and his name is shopkeeper. As um, as with the nurse, uh, you can't interact with it yet, but you can search him and you get his loot without having to kill him, and he'll just stand there. Um, now, what I did add was this cash register. So you might think, now, what's the fun in a cash register? If I use my tokens on the cash register um, um, in here, you see that the drawer closes. And we now have to wait for one game tick. My game is on 50 minutes, day, uh, 50 minute days, so we have to wait just a little under 30 game minutes. Um, so yeah, that, we'll just have to sit around and wait for it. Um, in the meantime, what I did is um, to actually make this work. I had to remove the broken glasses um, from the top of the building. Um, otherwise, I would have have to do it outside, and that's because. The cash register that was empty as a mod to upgrade itself into a disk cash register, the, the closed one. Um, the normally a closed one you can loot, this one you can't. And that's because it's not a loot crate anymore, it's a plant. And it needs sunlight to grow. Now, with the sunlight that's coming in... Oh, there you go. 30 minutes later, it will give you your purchase. So we spent 25 coins. Don't know if you noticed it, but we spent 25 coins, and now we've got a, a get an ammunition crate from this uh, shopkeeper. Um, it's all random what kind of loot you get out of it, but yeah, you get you get your purchase. Now, just because you made one purchase doesn't mean you can make another. So if you break this. Uh, you get some scrap model and it returns to its original state. So here we go again 25 coins in drawers closed and the shopkeeper uh, shopkeeper will take approximately 30 minutes of game time uh, On a 15 minute date to get you your purchase um, We're not gonna wait for that a second time But I just wanted to show you that you can just keep looping it around and around and around Just as many times as you want or until your coins run out um, the 25 coins that you put in, uh, I can alter that number, it, I, it just seemed fitting to do 25 because uh, if you open up one register you might get 10, but you also might get uh, up to 60 coins, so uh, I, I didn't want to make it too easy, but if, if any of you guys want this mod in, um, I can change that number to whichever number of coins you want to put in if you just want to use one coin to buy an ammunition crate and have it uh, nice easy and cheap um, oh time has passed uh, you can just use one and uh, you can even go to a thousand coins just to make it a little bit harder to uh, achieve um, now this is the the stock um, police station or information center as it's called now um, and as soon as the prefab editor will come out uh, for alpha 12 um, This guy and my cash register will be added to a prefab So they will actually spawn in this prefab always uh, on my maps um, Until that time the only way for him to spawn in this exact spot is to use the f6 and spawn in the sh a shopkeeper So um, yeah until the prefab editor comes out you'll have to put him there manually um, but as soon as I can transform all of this into one nice prefab including those two I will so um, yeah if you've got questions remarks leave a comment if you liked it and want to see more uh, like and subscribe and uh, yeah thank you for watching and see you in the next episode um, I will be doing some more modding if I can think of fun stuff to do um, I still haven't figured out how I can 
make him accept my coins, but I don't know if I ever will because this modding has its limitations. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, click that like button and subscribe and um, we'll see you in another day. Thanks for watching. Bye.